What's up, YouTube? Cloud for Man221 here, and welcome back to another part of the Empire Total War Dutch or United Provinces campaign. We are going to move in with our Navy here and take on the Spanish at this trading port and deny Spain important resources. Now you can see they have nothing because it's being blockaded. They do have some galleons and uh, they do have fifth rate, but that doesn't worry me too much. Anyway, this army should be ready to. Never mind, they can't leave because these guys are unhappy. Okay, and it says we're going down in wealth here. So we are going to repair some of these buildings. But yeah, I guess we're going to repair the cannon foundry. So does this gem mine have... It doesn't even have a mine. Wow. That is a shame. We're going after this one too. Granada. Bogota. Yeah, that's Colombia right there, so... Spain does have Florida. And I have a trade route with Quebec. Okay, so I was looking at my trade right here. I'm getting nothing when these guys are here. So I'm going to move over to the East Africa Theater where Ivory is. And just get away from Savoy because Savoy is a massive fleet. Even though it is a bunch of bad ships, my current fleet's in the Americas and being um, trained right now. Well, it's not being trained, but it's just stuck over there. And then I gotta, I gotta get a fleet in the Mediterranean. Like really, I, I have no ships whatsoever. I'm dealing with Spanish and Savoy's little six right blockading me, and it'd be really good to be able to take on you know the Spanish. I am at peace with the Papal states or the Italian states as they're probably known as in this game and this army needs to replenish people need to be stop resisting foreign occupation here and need to get back to Corsica basically and repair I got a lot of bones need to repair so let's end the turn I'm going to be making no money because my main port was hit and we also lost Assas Loren Cylon no not really Prussia got Wittenberg I have to deal with. I think they just want Assas Loren, but I need to have some kind of other army to fight them, but I have my army in Spain, so I don't necessarily know if I want to... Yeah, they're going to block it. I'm probably going to go negative and be bankrupt now. Okay, thankfully, this is now repaired. And I have 1600. I do have a couple fifth rates and fourth rates. Okay, so I have a fleet that arrived. Okay, let's see. Okay, these are in the East Indies. And this one's here also. Yeah, we were sending one of the Straits of Madagascar, I thought. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm like, well, actually, I have my trade fleet. So I can just go onto the, the list here. Okay, you're one. You're my navy. These guys are here. These guys are going to the Straits of Madagascar. I have two that are in route to the Straits of Madagascar, and I have some in the North Sea. Okay, cool. And these people calm down yet is the question. Eh, they're not really much money maker anyway. So let's move our Indian force. To Hispaniola. I'll bring this guy back here. So we're going to repair in some buildings next and we actually have some money. But Espanol should fall to us. It's, it's, it's an okay wealthy province. But really the, the big one is Cuba. That's going to be the big one. And I am at, you know, allied with the British. I don't think they have any problem me taking on. Uh, we have Guatemala. Mexico would be a good one because you can see they have silver mine. That's only low yield. They do have a gold mine. They have a lot of silver mines apparently on the map here. Guatemala not so well they do have a they have one silver mine. 
But I'll probably just keep, you know, with this army here, I'll probably just keep going up the coast. Um, the issue is, though, I don't have a lot of money, and my fleets are expensive. And I have to deal with these guys right here. Who look like they've backed off. You know, I might actually try to make a peace treaty with them for now. I took my territory. They might want to. Or not. Maybe. You know what I can do? I can give them some... Never mind. <sighs> That's their fault, then. Okay, let's end another turn. I need to get some of these bones repaired. I need that... Oh. This would be interesting. Intercepting. Now I'm just gonna... I'm gonna let them go into that city. I can surround them better that way. Typical, like, I want some of these factions to die out, like Prussia and Sweden and Poland, because they keep asking me the same thing every couple turns. You know, first they wanted New Gu uh, Guyana or something. Whoa. Darn it. It's like Savoy's following me. I need to go to the uh, Madagascar then. Love to do Barbary Pirate States, but everybody hates you. Spain's riding. I'm sure there's going to be a rebellion, and I can't stop that. That's fine. Okay. Hi. Weird lag for Empire. I'm going to head down to the East Africa Trade Theater. Okay, that's Persia. Good. And then... Okay. Okay, making some more money again. I'll have that fleet and I will... I will guard this area here. Okay, okay, good. We're doing... We're doing okay. I need to take out this post, though. Thankfully, I, this... You know, this army's been quite effective for what I have. Um, it's been quite good, you know, these guys are getting quite veterans, so I, I do have the bowmen and the militia to kind of take on the infantry, and then I also have the the auxiliary Native Americans to take on those kind of guys in melee if we need to. Okay, I think first things first is I have some money, and that's a great thing. So let's get a, a light galley to get my troops off of Genoa, who's still not exactly happy, but I might just exempt them initially. And they're blockading this. I need to get around. The problem is with my navy. Well, here's not too much of a problem. Copenhagen. Oh, they took over Copenhagen. And overtook out Denmark. Poor Iceland. That's one little port that's probably very poor. And a meager yield of a, of a farm. <laughs> not a very good province. I need to, like... I need to build this up. So I'm gonna get I'm gonna get a craft workshop. That will help with our wealth in this area. Just further increase it. And Winterberg seems like they moved their army over again. So I really need to be at peace with these guys. You know you have to pay them a little bit of money. Screw! They're gonna probably hit Paris. I have nothing to stop them, and I can't make anything to stop them. That's kind of annoying that Wittenberg just chose to betray me. I didn't do anything to them. I could really use Westphalia to stop sitting on their one city and maybe attack Wittenberg. You are at war with them, after all. Because my army's stuck on Corsica right now. Other army stuck in Spain. I, I thought, you know, my borders are relatively secure. Okay, good. They didn't move out yet. There was a rebellion. That was expected. This army can handle it, though. You know, maybe if I repair this with all that repression. eat! Yeah, that'll be repaired and they'll, they'll be fine next turn. 
Okay, I don't trust the Italian states at all, but... And why would you not want a trade agreement? I hate I have to pay people. There you go. Now we're trading this. It should make him a little less likely to betray me. Now I have an army if I need to... Oh good, they're fighting amongst themselves. Come on guys, you have a full army there, I need your help. And they're just building up, I'm sure, and they're even getting an improved settlement defenses. Sorry about that, my roommate walked in. So, basically I was realizing that in my policies looking at Europe here, and we have some exempt states, including Lombardy, and, or Milan basically, and we can unexempt them and get some more wealth. So now we're going to be making almost 4,000 a turn. And with that, we definitely need to replenish this. That's a lot of wealth we're losing from Genoa, which gives us more taxes. And then we're going to need to probably, for these two units, I'm going to... Yeah, I guess I'm just going to have this guy re start retraining. And we'll have to have this army. I mean, I, I really don't trust the Italian states who I'm now at peace with. But I'm going to have to leave them be. I might have to move that army up and take on Wittenberg. Because I do not have the enough manpower to really stop. You know, I'm very spread out all over the globe right now. And um, that's my pretty much my ambition anyway. And I won't be able to fight all these wars at once, which is why I've kind of ignored Sweden and Prussia and Poland as they're now fighting with each other, which I think is great. And I'm basically trying to keep my trade lanes open and Savoy will be dealt with, trust me. After I take out Spain. Or most of Spain. I do need to replenish or re not replenish, repair that. So let's end a turn and see what happens. I'm keeping this navy here. I might actually. So let's see, I'm making 3,900. Let's start raiding. Yeah, there's actually not anything coming here. So. Yeah, not really making anything. So. Might as well start raiding a little bit if we can. And I have the Spanish bottled up in that port city. Savoy? You want Savoy, Poland? Have fun fighting out with Prussia, Why Sweden kind of sits on the sideline. I think Sweden actually might be at war with Prussia. So they can they can have fun battling it out, you know, spending treasure, attacking each other, spilling blood. I'm cool, you know. I'm fine to be focusing really on Western Europe and with Britain as my ally. be nice to actually take out the Barbary states. These are going to be running around raiding. That's okay. Even making more money now. Okay, so I have my army here. Winnenberg seems pretty strong in SS to rent a lot of line infantry. This is repaired. Nice. More good news. Our fleet has arrived. <sighs> Denmark. Denmark. It's really unfortunate. I'm like, oh, I can't go to war with these guys. But that's. Bummer. Okay, I guess we'll have to go to South America. That'll take a while. The agent detected around. Really? He's trying to stop us with that? Okay, Europe has a census. Big deal. Okay, these troops are fine. You know, that's just a little raiding force. And these people are still going to be unhappy. Let's repair this building. That's going to be a lot of our income this turn. Research is going fine. I'm going to retrain some more of these troops. I know I'm taking a gamble by backing off at the Italian states right now. I do have a big army. And these provinces are all very, very vulnerable right now. If I don't do something to stop Wittenberg and Paris Falls, I'm in deep trouble. So let's 
replenish some more line tree that really need it, and I'm gonna start heading up. I got a counter Winterberg. You can't just take Asasaren from me and expect to get away with it. I'm gonna make a militia, put him here so I can actually have the cannons group up with this army. Looking good. I do wanna. I think there's gonna be like two rebellions. Is it? Okay, let's march. Get these guys Victory! off there. Oh wow! I, I, oh great! I can't get there. Well, that sucks. <laughs> Really badly, actually. I'm gonna work on this to help us get wealth and growth, uh, basically, per turn. Or I might even work on. Let's work on this actually to help us, you know, constructing metalworking buildings, especially in the Americas. That should help quite a lot. So let's end a turn and hope they don't take Madrid from me, because that would be very bad. These guys are coming out to fight me. This should be quite interesting. Let's go on to the battle map. So the battle is starting to take place right now. These are going against my militia, who are taking quite a lot of shots in them, but they are taking a lot of casualties themselves. We do have the archers moving in, taking some shots in these men. It is just a brutal fight when they fire off those volleys, but we are firing a lot faster than they are. And these guys have poor reload skills. And you can see they're forced to withdraw from that situation as they get shot. And I do have these guys right behind them ready to take on any of those guys. So it looks like they're withdrawing. Is everybody good? Let's move up. These guys still aren't done reloading. Wow, look at all that. Anyway, focus. Whoa. Looks like there's a hill. I didn't even notice this geography right there. So far, it's looking pretty good. I am able to hold these guys. I'm going to see if I can catch one of these units by charging in. Oh, yeah, this unit's screwed. Let's try that actually with this unit here. These veteran units shooting in. Got our bowmen still taking shots into some of these units. Yeah, and the tomahawks go flying. Take them down, native auxiliary. Wow, look how fast that guy's running away. I guess I just need to charge into these guys, but it's important I whittle them down a little bit. But yeah, these guys got slaughtered. Didn't even stand a chance, really. Oh, one of them came back, though. Yeah, as the arrows come flying in and the, the tomahawks come charging in. They have tomahawks, too. See, I really like using this kind of native army. And the Native Americans in this are quite decent. Anyway, I'll see you back in the campaign with the results. This has been a great army, and I've conquered quite a lot of Spanish territory with it. So, yeah, you can see they lost pretty much a lot of their men. I should be able to take this now in the next turn here. 
I basically don't even read that anymore. I know they're basically asking for Flanders. You know, it'd be like, the worst thing would happen is if a Prussian army lands, like, at my capital, and I have nothing, not even close to defend it. But, hey, I'm getting a lot of Spanish colonies. That should help our, our wealth. Oh, you bet I'm going to intercept. Push those guys back. <laughs> really? A gentleman is all the way out here. Oh, that's good. I happen to have a boat that is willing to take you. So we have our gentleman there. Actually, yeah, that'll be much faster instead of heading to Brazil. Okay, my missionary died. That's so sad. He was over here. Didn't even know he existed, basically, because I haven't paid attention at all to India. Basically, I'm focusing on the New World. Wow, I lost nine guys to that 10-man unit. Okay, we now have this area here. More con. I'm really surprised at how poor these um, colonies seem to be. I mean, besides the, these open gem pits or whatever, they seem to be quite, like, agriculture's okay. But well seems to be going down. They're like 100, you know, per one captured. I gotta look at my minister to see if everyone's doing pretty good. India, you're doing nothing. That guy does nothing either. Current popularity is up. I don't think it should really matter because it's. We're, we are a republic, though. That's, that's a, a bad thing. Okay, the militia is right here. Can this make four threats? No, we cannot. Don't have enough money. So I am pirating along here. Raiding, you could say. Still a large fan uh, Spanish fleet with galleons. You know, I'm hoping these guys start to calm down. You know, we do have the repression building back up. We might want to put in the happiness building. And this is going to be working on some of my industry so I can improve that. Great estates. See, I don't think you get a lot of a lot from farming. I really think it's the metal and textile industries you just get a ton of wealth from. Um, that's, I mean, tell me if you guys agree or not, but it seems like these buildings are the ones that you get a lot of wealth from. So these guys will group up. And this army is going to be retraining anyway. General, you really don't need to be retrained. Well, actually, why not? I mean, we have very little money left over anyway. This is a massive port. I can't imagine making this a commercial basin. And if I talked for too long, I hope you guys enjoyed this part. I'll see you in the next part where we probably take on... We'll see if we take on Winnenberg or if the Italian states or Venice betray me. I'm very wary of that. And we'll probably have an answer. You know, I'll probably try to build up this dry dock. And try to sneak my fleet around the Spanish fleet through the Straits of Gibraltar and bring them down so I can take out Savoy once and for all. Um, it's really disappointing that Savoy is able just to hop on basically to Tunis and flee to Africa. And you know, we're making a decent amount of money. So 6,000, that's pretty good. And my fleet hasn't even arrived on the coast of Brazil yet. So, anyway, confirm my 221 sign. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next part.